Hi guys, Earthrock here. Today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial series on how to make a zombie map level within the Black Ops 3 mod tools. Now first off, you guys need to make sure that you have the Black Ops 3 mod tools. If you don't know how already, I'll quickly show you. You need to make sure that you have Black Ops 3 in your library. You need to go to your tools. You need to go to Black Ops 3, which is here. And you need to install it, but you also need to go into its properties. DLC and check mark the additional assets. Now, moving on to the actual main part of the video, how to start your map file. This is going to be a really short video. It's not going to go too in depth because I want to make multiple videos over certain specific things. Now, to create your map file, all you're going to do is new. Since we're making a zombie map, go to ZM mod level and type in ZM underscore and then whatever you want your map name. So let's name it tutorial for the sake of the video you can name it whatever you want now it tells us our map has been created and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find ZM tutorial right click open map in radiant and we now have the main tool which actually allows us to make our map open okay so what you're gonna do sorry if I sound a little sick it's just really early and I have cold but either way so right here everything is gonna look different okay you are gonna have like a crap ton of windows I want you to close all of them except the camera and the grid view you can move them around uh, however you like I personally like to have my grid on this side and my 3d view on this side now what you're gonna notice is it's gonna say unbuilt lighting hit the lightning bolt to update you don't see a lightning bolt so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click here you're gonna click exposure and that's going to show you your lightning bolt. You can choose low, medium, or high to bake it, and then you can just click it. So we're just going to wait for it to uh, process our probes. Come on. Just going to take a small second of our time. Okay, there we go. Runtime lighting. There. It's all done. Now, for the controls of Radiant. Now we're going to go into the basics on how to just move around in Radiant and how to open a few windows. Now, here's what you got to do. To move around within the 3D uh, view, you need to hold right click and move your mouse around. It's pretty simple, pretty fluid, pretty easy, but you're probably asking, how do I go up and down? Well, uh, this is how you do it. You're going to push C to go down and you're going to push D to go up and to look down and up is also simple too so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press A to look up and you're gonna press Z to look down pretty easy now in the 2D grid it's very similar to the 3D uh, to move around you hold right click and you can also zoom out with the mouse wheel you can also do that in your 3D view but also what you're gonna do is we need to figure out how to open up certain windows so I'm not gonna go too in depth with this I'm just gonna show you where it is mainly and probably something uh, you're gonna use more often so probably one of the things you're gonna use a lot is models to model your map so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press M we'll do models for a different tutorial but I just want to show you uh, how to open windows quickly so M is how to open the models window and you can easily press it again and off again I know uh, there is a glitch sometimes where it doesn't pop up you just need to keep pressing M until its window file comes up because it's usually down here again you can move all these windows around and resize them to however you like so I'm gonna hide that there now if you wanna look for a specific window you can either go to view toggle and look through all these uh, for whatever you desire or you can get that same window by just right clicking up here and you'll have all of those windows for you so it's pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and pretty basic. Now, uh, one thing I want to show you guys is how to change uh, your FOV within the uh, camera view. Now, for me, when I first was in the mod tools, it was very uncomfortable. So what you're going to do is you're going to press P to open your settings window, and you can also open this by going to File, uh, my bad, uh, you go to Settings, preferences it also shows you the shortcut as well which is nice and what you're gonna go to is you're going to go to camera uh, let me make sure yes it's camera so the field of view 
uh, by default, it's like 65 or something, or maybe 100 something. I don't know. Yeah, it was like 65 for me, uh, which is like World at War FOV. But if you want to change it, all you got to do is go into your properties, go to camera, and by default for Black Ops 3, it's 80, which I am very comfortable with. You just push apply and OK, and you're back to that. But you can also, if you guys are weird, I don't know why people like huge FOVs, I, I just personally don't like it. You can change it to whatever you want. So for example, we'll do 90, and bam, we've got a bigger FOV, and you can keep messing around that to your liking. Now, personally, I'm going to put it back to 80 because that's just weird. Uh, apply. Okay, so that basically completes uh, this short, fast, simple tutorial on how to walk you through the controls of uh, movement within Radiant. Uh, next tutorial, we're going to tell you how to actually make a room uh, regarding these brushes and we'll go over some few controls in there but this is just the basic movement controls and yeah it's pretty simple so if you guys hated this video give it a thumbs down if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up thank you guys for uh, actually giving me 16 likes on my live stream video uh, that I did last night over decay that was awesome thank you guys for all that support but yeah uh, also, if you guys want to stay in tune for more tutorials or live streams regarding my map decay or anything else, Black Ops League Mod Tools, just subscribe. I have also a bunch of other things that you can look at on my channel. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.